So it is excruciating, depressing times right now, and um, and 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 and, and you're not you're not alone because I want to show we can show the voter turnout over the years. We also show how depression has always been. It's not new. Um, and I want to share this real quick. Um, I like this article because it compares to a country that people always like to slob over all the time. Oh, the mm-hmm. Swiss, be like the Swiss, be like the Swiss, be like the Swiss. Um, while the Swiss are like murdering each other with herd immunity, um, they actually, this is from 2018. This is for 2016. You election. mean herd non immunity? Because if they're murdering <laughs> each other, that's that's not immunity. <laughs> <laughs> that is we that is culling of the population. <laughs> that's what that's what's happening over there. So um, so Americans don't show up at the polls, but need to do the Swiss. And I like this article because it compares to these like other super white nations that we always like to like fawn over, but they also doesn't have that. So United States ranked over twenty six out of twenty two countries where percentage of people are, are eligible to vote. We're going to talk about these numbers because a lot of times you see 55. And that's registered voters, right? Yeah. You say, yeah. Yeah. So I, I wanted to touch on that. No, it's, it's a high number of registered voters, but who turns out, who actually comes out, you know? Yeah. Because I wanted to say, like, you know, which is, which there's is always right here. Yeah. There's always like this, uh, so these, this is the push registered. to get people to register. Yeah. Right. Because you can say people who are eligible to vote. Mm-hmm. Those are people that have already registered And people go through the hassle of registering just to not vote. But what about all the other people that don't even bother getting registered? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, I think that, you know, it's it's, it's easy to call the American people sheep or sheeple or whatever. But I think that we have a country that is more cynical and more distrusting of the so-called two party system that doesn't really exist as a one party system. Where, you know, both sides, they play this weird popularity contest thing to make it appear like they're not working together and that they're Mm -hmm. not, you know, the same entity. Yeah. Um, And I think I think more people see through it than don't. Yeah. And even the people who are registered to vote, I think that they're probably more hopeful that maybe a change can be made. But, you know, the older you get, the more you start to see that the whole system is complete bullshit. It doesn't matter who you vote in. Um, you know, the rich will continue to get richer. The poor will get poorer. The middle class will continue to shrink. And the common person will continue to be exploited by the wealthy. Period. But, like, I mean, I got, I mean, I first got my experience of voting because my grandma used to vote. She used to go to, like, down the, the school, down the street and vote. But I also had experience of, like, my my grandmother going to like the local community board meetings and meeting like the the local you know city council member so like so i saw at least like it was like the local level if you vote this this swami asshole won't be here anymore i saw that but like but a lot of times people don't even engage in that level they only just go and vote for the president and go home you know that's it you know that, that's not that's not everything you know and i feel that's the problem in a lot of ways like we just the get out the vote stuff is only for these big moments. You only and it feel and because of that, it feels pandering. It's like why are you only telling me to do this now? You know why are you didn't tell me to do it that local ass election for the stoplight? Why it wasn't a major? They don't give a fuck. That? They don't give a so, fuck about the local election. The, the, you you, know, so, you electing the local guy is not going to put money in their pocket. Yeah. So so I want to pop up this. Phil can pop up this video real quick. Um, it gives like the numbers because the numbers, the millions of numbers is important to see.
Mm-hmm. Also having that beard too, you know. Beards are popular now. <laughs> People starting to realize that non-irritated skin is best. And this video is from like a few years ago. This is an old ass video. It just shows you all the scams that are happening. It was like an iPhone app puzzle. What was that? Yeah. So what they're showing is, is that they try to redraw the lines uh, in certain districts to try mm-hmm. to give themselves a political advantage. So let's say I, uh, let's say this is a fifty-five forty-five, right? Yeah. And you have um, uh, you have like eleven on one side and you have nine on the other, mm-hmm. right? If you are really careful about it, you can explode that number, that yeah. 55, to make it look more like 67%, yeah. which is if you know you group them in a certain way yeah. where you, you, you redraw them into three different districts where you know because you have the numerical advantage, you can pretend like you get 100% of one, 80% of another, and then 0% of the other. Yeah. So instead of, you know, getting, you know, just more than half, it looks more like you have two thirds. Or, you know, if you're the, um, if you're in a situation where you are at a disadvantage and you're the 45, you can redraw the districts to make it look like you have the two thirds advantage, mm-hmm. right? By by cutting it in such a way where you get the majority of two and none of the other. So so imagine you're a voter and your problem is, oh, I don't have my ID. And this is what the other people are doing. They're like redrawing districts. So it's like, fuck, I'm not going to vote. <laughs> it's like, yeah. you know, like, and then the fees to get your like, ID go up. You know, like, you you know? know like, so, you know, so this is intense what's happening here. And so. then they close the polls so that. Uh, it makes it difficult for you to be able to get there, yeah. especially if you're a poor person, yeah. which, took- of course, uh, uh, affects black people at a disproportionate rate than other people. So everybody talks about that black vote, but yeah. in reality, they don't really want the blacks voting. No, no, all the black vote is a lot of times just like the politician talking over a hip hop vote, hip hop beat on Hot 97. You know, that's the campaign. That yeah, but it. those are in markets where. You know, your voting poll is right across the street because it's at the elementary school. Like, yeah, yeah. they know that those people, and, and the thing is, you notice how the politicians never show up in New York. They never mm. show up in fucking Alabama. They mm. already know that those votes are locked up, you know, mm. you know, because you got, you know, the Crips up in New York and you got the Bloods in Alabama. You know, we got red versus blue. Mm. And you already know that you need to go there. But what about the purple areas? That's mm. where they all go. Yeah, because they know. But then, you know, how do you keep the people uh, on one side of the purple swirl from voting? And how do you get the people on the other side of the purple swirl to vote to go to your way? You mm-hmm. know, and right now it seems like um, uh, I want to put this next clip because the last clip was talking about this. Why people don't give a shit about voting. This clip pretty much talks about why now we're in this new stage with um how mailing now we got to mail our votes for some reason now so this is what's happening now so why what's the process of voting by mail what does that even mean so i think this video is pretty cool of like on march 28 2020 the governor of new york announced that he was delaying his state's april election i don't think it's wise to be bringing a lot of people to one location 18 other states had already delayed or modified their spring elections. It would endanger public health to allow thousands of people to assemble. But the state of Wisconsin made a different call. The only state to move ahead with its election. Polls, if you can believe it, are open in Wisconsin this morning. On April 7th, voters in Wisconsin got in line, waited for hours, standing six feet apart, wearing masks, with some poll workers in full protective gear. 
One voter made a sign that seemed to sum up the situation perfectly. People are calling it the photo of the year. Quote, this is ridiculous. I was sitting with my cardboard in my lap. I was like, this whole thing is just ridiculous. The people who are supposed to be making sure things are safe for us, like, I felt like they kind of threw us under the wagon, you know? The next day, the governor of New Jersey announced they were postponing their election, too. I don't want a Wisconsin where folks had to pick between exercising their right to vote on the one hand and protecting their own personal health. Wisconsin's election highlights something that the U.S. really needs to figure out soon. In November, there's an election to decide the next president. But it's highly unlikely that COVID-19 will be over and done with by then. We might even be dealing with a second wave of it. So if public gatherings are a health risk, that's a lie. How are you supposed to have an election? She assumed that there's I'm no second wave from the one day family voting booth here at my dining room table. This is Dave. He's at home in Seattle, Washington. Dave's done a lot of reporting on what he says is a simple solution to how America can vote during the pandemic. Tens of millions of people in America vote by mail now every election and it's fine. <laughs> Washington is one of the few states that runs its entire election through the mail. I think I've been voting by mail since I got to Washington in 2000. I mean, everyone who's done it loves it. Voting by mail basically works by taking two important elements of voting, verifying your identity and filling out the ballot, and moving them from a polling place to your home, where the ballot gets mailed a few weeks before the election. And that has two really obvious benefits. First, you can take as much time as you want. You have literally weeks to do as much research as you want. So when you fill that circle, you're like, I'm friggin' voting. I'm capital V voting right now. And second, voting by mail takes away a lot of the common reasons people don't vote. Being forced to take a day off work, find someone to watch your kids or take your kids with you and go to a crowded balloting place Hope that your name hasn't been struck from some role for some random reason. Wait for hours, three hours, five hours in line. Voting by mail clears those hurdles, and the effects are really easy to see. In 2018, a county in western Nebraska got permission from the state to run their entire election by mail. Every voter there got a mail-in ballot, while voters in the rest of the state voted the old-fashioned way. Across Nebraska, voter turnout was 24%. But in that one county, it was more than double that. Turns out that making it easier to vote means more people vote. On average, states with all-male voting systems have a higher turnout than other states. A poll from April 2020 found that Americans would overwhelmingly be in favor of holding the next presidential election entirely by mail. That, but was that still April. leaves a chunk who aren't sold on it. One reason is fraud. The possibility that your vote might be more likely to get lost, stolen, or coerced if you vote at home. So I asked an expert on voting by mail how serious and common a risk this is. It's exceedingly rare. So I also asked someone who runs elections. No widespread or systematic voter fraud. I asked a political scientist who's an expert on election data. It's highly unlikely anyone's going to steal your vote. An election law expert. The concerns about voter fraud are way overhyped and an expert on voting rights. You are still more likely to be struck by lightning than to find mail ballot fraud. The reason vote by mail fraud is rare is that even though in theory Don't it's tell possible, that to the people who've been struck by struck effective. by lightning though. <laughs> yes. In terms of wholesale fraud, they're going to vote for Trump when they hear that. So. Election security experts worry about wholesale fraud. Lots and lots of votes being tampered with at once. So if a bunch of people are voting on a machine, you just have to hack the one machine and you have access to thousands of the votes. Wholesale fraud with one point of contact. They're a lot less worried Yo. about what they call retail fraud. Votes that get tampered with one at a time. I mean, it What's is up, possible Maxman? that Welcome to the someone stream. could Welcome come by to and Gower. seal your ballot, fill it out, sign your name to it, and mail it in and they thereby would have accomplished changing one vote. <laughs> but even if that does happen, vote by mail systems typically give you a way to track your vote and make sure it's been counted. You can track your ballot like an Amazon package. 
does not get much more secure than that. You can actually go on our system and, ch and track it from when they receive it, when they verify the signature, and when it's ready to Thank count. Thank you. Yeah, if we they want people not to count. I guarantee you that that voter picks up the phone and calls those election officials. The checks and balances that are in vote by mail in California, there are stronger and stricter guidelines on processing vote by mail than there are in person voters. To me, it's a much more secure process. The same week that Wisconsin held its election, the state of Georgia sent all its voters forms that would let them request a mail ballot. But Georgia's Speaker of the House complained. He said voting by mail benefits Democrats. This will be extremely uh, devastating to, to Republicans and conservatives uh, in Georgia. But there's no evidence that voting by mail is better for either party. A study at Stanford found that it doesn't get either party a bigger share of either turnout or the vote itself. All it does is increase the number of people who vote. We haven't seen any um, any benefit to one party over another. There's nothing political about voting, and, and more people voting is a good thing. Providing that all vote by mail experience didn't change those dynamics. People were still voting the way they wanted to vote. I'm pretty sure I'm living proof that you can elect a Republican in a blue state, and you can do it in a vote by mail uh, environment. Every state in the U.S. already has some kind of vote by mail option. It's called an absentee ballot. But some states will only give you one if you have a good excuse, like if you're out of town or in the military. Other states offer you, a no man. excuse absentee ballot where you don't I need want to, to give be a reason, a but you still have man. to request it. Voting by mail is something every state already allows. But very few states are actually prepared to do an entire election through the mail. That's what caused the problem in Wisconsin. In 2016, about 250,000 Wisconsin voters requested an absentee ballot. In 2020, about five times that number requested absentee ballots. Wisconsin hadn't prepared for that, so a lot of people never got their ballots and had to go vote in person instead. I was one of over 55,000 people who had requested an absentee ballot who had not yet received it. <laughs> I am that is a big ass size. That we can make that um an we're not supposed to talk through this but I, i'm trying not to <laughs> in november. it would not be that difficult to ramp that up in time for the election i mean you need to start now it's not <laughs> trivial but it's very doable in the five states that have all male voting there's still an option to vote in person a backup mostly for people who didn't get a ballot or weren't registered to vote in time but in most places voting by mail is the backup and if lots of voters feel that voting in person isn't safe, a backup won't be good enough. Preparing election systems for that will take time. And right now, there is time. But only if we start now. <laughs> You're right, Matzo Man. <laughs> I just don't I understand the I understand the passion. I just don't want to be branded by one sign. But that that video is really great. It really shows you just why. Like that sign show, could be about anything, literally. This yeah, is be, ridiculous. Yeah, it'd be like, you know, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm gonna put that right in my dashboard. So like so we showed the last video, the turnout in America is, is fantastically terrible. And then we showed you Mail out mail in ballots can actually be a, 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 a old school solution to that. We actually can get more people to vote, poor people to vote. But yet, you know, Trump doesn't want that obviously because you know he knows it's gonna work, so he doesn't want he thinks it's a fraud scam. So, you know, that video really breaks it down and shows you that that actually could work. It's actually a functional thing. So if the if the polls showed that mail in voting would encourage more people to vote for him. He would say, "Hey, you know, there's no evidence of why." I mean, he'd be. It, 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 it's always about what serves me, and yeah. if it doesn't serve me, it's time to spread panic. And yeah. if it doesn't, you know, if it does serve me, then let's downplay it. You yeah, know, exactly. like oh, there's gonna be, you know, there's gonna be like, uh, you know, this massive pandemic problem that's gonna take four hundred and twenty thousand lives by the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, let's downplay that because that doesn't help me. Yeah. But we're gonna play up, you know, some shit that there's no and, evidence of. Yeah, yeah. Anarchist because that jurisdictions, anarchist yeah. jurisdictions. All of a sudden, we live in what the anarchist. fuck is what is what the fuck is an an anarchist we're, we're, jurisdiction? We're, we're, what mass is that? robbing and stealing happening. Is this mass shooting, gangland shootings happening everywhere in New York City? Is this mass but, rioting? Like, Anarchy people means dying. like against the monarchy, right? Yeah, yeah. I saw people just get their heads chopped right off when I came to work today. You know, this, this was happening in New York City, according to Trump. But like, so. 
but like anarchy is like the opposite of arc like like but we're not we're not under like you know the the king of england <laughs> right <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, yeah, I, he's, just, he's just saying bullshit at that point. Like, so. It's almost like he's trying to say, oh, yeah, these official jurisdictions, they're lawless. Like, yeah. yo, dude, my license expired. I'm not driving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to just, I just want to do real, real cap. So that was a vote out 2020. Um, follow us on Facebook um, and Twitter. Twitter.